just describe to me what you saw on that last play that led to the um, open three by Okoro. Yeah, we were uh, not going to call timeout, so we had our group in there to um, continue to push. If he was going to make the second free throw, it would be tied up. We have a chance to shoot the last shot. Donovan missed it, and uh, somehow, uh, without crossing the line, the ball got back to him. Um, then it was just a scramble from there. Uh, we got a chance to get our hands on it again and uh, end up in their hands. And so uh, you give them the credit uh, for, for continuing to fight on that side, for sure. What was your message to the group when you guys got back into that locker room after a game where you saw your team fight back or maybe not things, everything went your way, but you saw the fight and resili resiliency there and the response in that fourth? Just really uh, what we're capable of, uh, of doing on a nightly basis. Uh, the fact that uh, I felt like we deserved to, to win that game because we did a lot of good things throughout the course of the night. Uh, now we have to let that game go and, and be able to emotionally gather our uh, ourselves and, and try to win a, a ball game in, in Miami. Uh, you know, I told them in, a lot of times in defeat, you, you learn who the hell you are. And so this is an opportunity to, for us to learn who we are for sure. Jack, did you think, do you think Donovan cross the line? Uh, I didn't look at it real closely, but it's, you know, it's be interesting the way it came off. You know, a lot of times it doesn't come back to the shooter without it being a violation. So I'll take a quick look at it when I get back in there, but uh, be interesting to see. Jacques, you said sometimes in defeat you can learn about yourselves. I mean, what are the kind of lessons, I guess, that can be taken from a, a loss like this, a game where you appear to have it wrapped up but don't quite do the job necessary over those final two minutes? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is in a game like this where, uh, you know, this is an emotional, uh, taxing game uh, when you don't come out uh, as the winner on the other side and you had the, the ball in your hands with, you know, 20 seconds uh, and they were going to have to foul us. So in a game like this, emotionally, you're going to be spent a little bit. So I think you learn about uh, can you let it go and, and uh, uh, move on to the next game? Uh, can you take the lessons from the game, uh, whether that's to continue to uh, move the ball like we did in, in, in a lot of possessions in the fourth, uh, whether that is uh, that second group really uh, finding an identity and playing well on both ends of the floor. Um, there are a lot of good things that we did tonight. So can we grab onto those things, but also emotionally uh, reload uh, to play another game? That last turnover between Spencer and Dorian, it looked like Spencer you know, on the trap was looking for some help, didn't really have any help. Was there talk about, you know, if you were to get trapped there, what was going to go on, or what did you see on that play? Well, I think they were a little late to even realize they had the trap. And so uh, we had enough shooters out there for, for them to foul us. I uh, thought we were in a good position to continue to spray the ball around because they, they were going to have to foul to, to put us on the line. Coach, there, there used to be a, a calmness about this team, especially down the stretch, that, that things would work in their favor. Do you, do you feel like that's still the case, that this team still believes that when games get tight, they can pull it out in the end? I thought we made some big plays down the stretch. Uh, I thought we got some shots that we wanted to. And uh, whether that was coming out of timeout and getting Spence downhill, uh, I thought overall we continued to move the ball down the, down the stretch of the game. Uh, we did try to manipulate some matchups uh, at one point during the game, which I thought was in our favor. Um, you know, this group is continuing to figure out uh, who's going to shoot the ball at the end, uh, where that ball and where that shot's going to come from, what the formation is going to be. Uh, I thought overall the people who were in the game were in pretty good spots to make good things happen. I want to ask you about Joe Harris, especially in that fourth quarter. He knocked down four of his threes. What opened up? What did you see from him? And also just your reaction to him getting his 1,000th career three-pointer since you've seen a lot of those. Seen a lot of those. And, uh, you know, it's just who he is as a, as a person, as a player. He's determined. He's the ultimate teammate. And, uh, you know, we've increased his minutes the last few games, and he's really played well. Uh, I think he's not thinking about shooting the basketball. Uh, he is... Um, you know, really balanced right now on the shot, and uh, overall, it's, it's paying uh, dividends for him. So we need him, and uh, we've always had confidence in him. And uh, when you have a thousand, that, that gives you a lot of confidence to make shots.